sometimes I think that people thinking about writing imagine that writing is just the, the process of uh, literary writing, but in fact it is something much more. So for instance, it seems to me that for me writing is also inventing and thinking and just doing nothing. So sometimes I'm laying in my bed and then I really work very hard in my bed, laying. It's a very, very pleasure uh, part of writing, but it's... So it, from this point of view, I don't have any holidays and I don't have any um, empty days because everything is connected in a way with, with writing. My name is Olga Tokarczuk. I am a Polish writer and I'm used to writing Polish. And this interview will be in English. Landscape affect our thinking. And people who are living in such an unusual, beautiful landscape have tendency to find for, to, to look for different points of view. And it's trained our mind in a very special way. That is, crea creativity is always looking for new points of view. I think that I wouldn't change my place for life. Bücher kaufe ich lieber im Taschenbuch, um sie ohne Bedauern auf Bahnsteigen liegen zu lassen für die Augen anderer. Ich sammle nichts. My favorite way of traveling is I think now traveling by car because I can stop everywhere, nearly everywhere, and the 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 time of traveling is up to me. And also the car is like a movable house, so I can keep my uh, things inside. And so this is a little bit like uh, snail traveling. Als ich so in den Anblick der Strömung versunken auf dem Flutwall stand, wurde mir klar, dass aller Gefahren zum Trotz, das, was in Bewegung ist, immer besser sein wird als das, was ruht dass der Wandel edler ist als die Stetigkeit, dass das unbewegliche Zerfall und Auflösung anheimfallen muss und zu Schutt und Asche wird, während das Bewegliche sogar ewig werden kann. For me it was the question of fragments, because our traveling is just jumping now. I think that we are traveling a little bit like zipping in the television, so you know, now you can, you, you can have the, the Uh, news in the television, then there is a fragment of movie, and then there is concert, let's say, and um, every time it's something different, something strange, and there is no connection betwe between the, all those things. But in a way, we, are, we, we have a power to connect all those things. This power is not outside of us, but in our minds. My books are about Curiosity, mobility, and I would add um, looking for meanings, which is uh, very present in my books from the beginning, from the first one, which has been written 30 years ago when I was really very young. I believe in many things. I believe uh, that I perceiving something. Yeah, that's for true. I don't. I'm not sure if I believe uh, that the, the, the real world really exists in this um, beautiful image I, um, I'm able, able to perceive. Perhaps it, it looks completely different. This is the question of my eyes and my mind. Elisha is a man whose inner is aussieht wie in einem Haus mit vielen Stuben. In dieser is this, in jener jenes. Von außen möchte man es für ein geschlossenes Gebäude halten, doch im Inneren erkennt man die Zerstreuung. I think that I do believe in strong relationships between people. It's something really very real, even if we don't understand another people finally to the end. Vielleicht ist es möglich, sich zu verständigen, auch wenn der eine des anderen Sprache nicht spricht der eine mit des anderen Gebräuchen nicht vertraut ist, 
auch wenn sie sich persönlich nicht kennen, nichts wissen von den Dingen, den Gegenständen des Anderen, sein Lachen, seine Gesten, seine Zeichen nicht zu deuten verstehen. Vielleicht, dass es dann möglich ist, sich mit Hilfe von Büchern zu verständigen. Ist nicht gerade das der einzige Weg? Lesen die Menschen dieselben Bücher, lebten sie in derselben Welt. Vielleicht ist es auch eine Frage des Alphabets, weil es nicht nur ein Alphabet gibt, sondern viele. So formt auch jeder auf seine Weise die Gedanken. I believe that uh, pain rules entire world. That is something which is obvious for me and um, to understand what's going on around us the first subject should be to to concentrate on, on pain on and on suffering especially it's important for writing because you cannot uh, really figure out um, what's going on with another people if you don't understand their pain and their suffering so I think sometimes that this is the most obvious, mo most common level we communicate. This is compassion. Die Männer sind für das Geschäft zuständig, die Frauen für das Prophetische. Jede zweite Frau in der Familie besitzt die Gabe. This is very interesting um, recognition that men are from business and women make prophecies and the, in Jewish tradition there were many female prophets and um, that it seems to me quite understandable because women are not uh, not so well educated like men so they didn't have these tools for interpretation for philosophical uh, thinking they didn't have terms to to name something uh, so they of course were very clever like today and they invented a kind of going through all those uh, levels of education and they invented the way of uh, mm, telling directly what I what they are going to say and of course they needed a kind of uh, story around this uh, need and prophecy is understandable as a something which is not even dependent from our intellect from our will something which is coming from outside so it was very convenient for women to use this way of wisdom and say, of course, that's not me, um, I'm completely innocent, that something is uh, telling through me, then so, um, yeah, that's all. And it worked. Diejenigen aber, die die Gabe annahmen und voller Ehrfurcht schluckten, begannen von innen zu leuchten, als wären sie Lampions. My female figure from Jacob's book, she is too intelligent, too clever, not to be part of those intellectual, mystical, religious life from which she is excluded by her uh, sex. So she invented this way to, to be in the middle of attention of the, the, the people and also using her intellect and her intuition to, to, to support her, her group, her tribe, her, her context. So I like it very much and in, in a way this is not the only Jewish uh, invention. I think that it exists in every single patriarchal society that the women are looking for the different way of expressing has themselves. Ruben ist überzeugt davon, dass die meisten Menschen dumm sind und dass die Dummheit der Menschen die Trauer in die Welt bringt. Weder ist es eine Sünde noch eine angeborene Eigenschaft, sondern eine falsche Anschauung, eine irrige Bewertung dessen, was die Augen sehen. Letzten Endes betrachten die Menschen jedes Ding einzeln, losgelöst von allem anderen. Die wahre Weisheit liegt in der Kunst, alles mit allem zu verbinden. Dann erst tritt die wirkliche Gestalt der Dinge zutage. 
as a children we used to have such a small notebooks and we used to give to people then they supposed to write something wise let's say i remember that my mother wrote me a small poem and it was something about swimming in the water in the ocean and that we have to be very strong swimmers and from time to time when i'm tired or uh, really desperate uh, this some a few sentences coming coming back into my mind that i am the swimmer and i am swimming in the you know endless ocean and i have to have strong muscles and my body is also involving into this proce process of of swimming wenn ich mich auf eine reise begebe verschwinde ich von der landkarte niemand weiß wo ich bin an dem Punkt, von dem ich ausgegangen bin oder an dem Punkt, zu dem ich strebe. Existiert ein Dazwischen? Bin ich wie dieser verlorene Tag, wenn man nach Osten fliegt und die gewonnene Nacht nach Westen? There are many beautiful lights all over the world, but I think that this kind of light, which is on the north of Europe, somewhere on Iceland or Siberia, which is in Asia, of course, but the northern lights are um, really very deep and mystical in a way, because everything has uh, very long shadows, and this idea, this, this game between light and shadows always very um, inspired me. So Sometimes I can recognize places by light, not by, you know, buildings or names. And uh, yeah, this, this, the question of light is, I think, the most important question on Earth, I think.